Just getting started selling on Etsy? If so, maybe you've heard about SEO, search engine optimization, and maybe you're aware that it's important for getting your products and your shop found in search, but you don't know how to do it. If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some Etsy SEO tips for beginners and let you know about the six parts of your shop that you should really be optimizing to get found in search. Hi, this is Badass Creatives and I am Mallory Whitfield, your marketing mentor for badass artists and makers who wanna market your products in a way that feels authentic, sustainable, and won't lead to burnout. I've taught marketing to hundreds of small business owners and creative entrepreneurs at events like Craftcation Conference, as a former adjunct professor for Tulane University's School of Professional Advancement, and through my own program, the Badass Creatives Marketing Accelerator. So I'll go into the six parts of your Etsy shop that you need to make sure you update, but first let's go over some SEO basics for beginners. My first search engine optimization tip for you beginners is to stop thinking of single words when you hear the word keyword and think of keyword phrases or long tail keywords. One mistake that a lot of beginners make when they're first getting started with SEO is they hear the importance of keywords and they think that that must be a single word, but that's not the way that we search. You want to think in terms of specific keyword phrases. So if you sell products related to a wedding, you might sell beach wedding dresses or wedding gifts for geeks or groomsmen gift ideas you're not just selling everything under the sun as it relates to a wedding. And most people that search aren't gonna just search a single word or phrase, whether it's on Google search engine or Etsy's. Next, you wanna use keyword phrases that your customer would use. Now, when you're selling products online and running a small business, Understanding your ideal target customer is really important, and this is one of the many reasons why. You wanna think about how your ideal customer would be searching for the products that you sell. What would a buyer type into a search engine? Not how you would describe your products, but how they would describe your products. As artists and makers, sometimes we get caught in the inside view of how we describe things. The industry words and phrases that we might use for the, the materials that we use, the products that we make, but often those words and phrases aren't how our customers think about what we make and sell. Now, back to my wedding example. I once worked with a client that was a wedding dress shop, but they actually called themselves something different. They called themselves a bridal boutique. And even though they sold what most people would call a wedding dress, they called them bridal gowns. Now, I was working at a marketing agency. We worked with this client on a whole search engine optimization and website revamp project. And it was really important for us to help them understand that the way their customers were searching for what they sold was much different than how they were describing their products. So we had to get them to use the kind of phrases that their customers were looking for to make sure that they would get found in search engines. And finally, adjectives are your friend. Now back to this wedding example, say that you were going to attend a wedding and you needed to look for shoes for yourself or your kid or family members to wear to this wedding, right? So instead of just going to Google or the search engine and typing in shoes, you're not gonna find what you need if you just type in that one word, right? So you need to put adjectives. Part of those long tail keyword phrases is adding adjectives. So maybe you're looking for comfortable dress shoes for women. Maybe you're looking for cute shoes for a six-year-old girl with a bow, right? Think about all the specific adjectives and words that you can use to describe what the thing is, who would potentially buy it. Adjectives are your friend. Okay, so with those tips in mind, let's talk about the six parts of your Etsy shop that you should really be focusing on optimizing for search engine optimization. The first is one you're probably already familiar with, your product titles. For Etsy in particular, your product title is really important. This is one of the main areas that Etsy's internal search engine uses to get you found in that search engine, and it's also gonna help you with getting found in the Google search engine and all of those other search engines. You have a limited space in your product title, about 140 characters is the maximum limit, it. So you want to make sure to put the most important keyword phrases at the front of your product title. And remember all the tips I've given you so far. Remember to use adjectives, use those long tail keyword phrases that your customers would be searching for, and use all of that real estate as much as possible. The next part of your Etsy shop to optimize is your tags. Etsy gives you 13 tags to add to each product, so I encourage you to make use of all of those. Some Etsy sellers like to have multiple listings of basically the same products but swap out different titles, different photos, and different tags to help that individual product get more chances to get seen. So basically by creating two different listings for the same products, but optimizing those two different listings 
differently, you have more potential to get seen by different customers searching in different ways. When you're trying to come up with tag ideas, look at your competitors, look at the types of tags and the ways that they're describing their products. Now you don't want to copy them exactly, but this can be very helpful for generating some initial ideas about how to tag your products and some of the long tail keyword phrases that they're using on Etsy to get found. The third part of your shop to optimize is your product descriptions. Your product description gives you a lot more room to write about every everything that makes up your product, both the benefits and the features. So you want to include the features and describe exactly what the product is, how it's made, how it can be used, who it's good for, but you also want to describe the benefits. How will it make your customer's life better in some way, whether it will make them feel beautiful and glamorous to wear it if it's jewelry or clothing, whether it will make their skin silky smooth if it's handmade body lotion, whatever it is, you want to describe both what exactly it is, the features, and the benefits of the product, how it will make their life better. Now, as you're writing that product description, be sure to weave in those long tail keyword phrases that you know your customers are looking for and use those to describe your product in different ways. You have a lot more room to play with in your product description, so make it count. The fourth area of your Etsy shop to optimize is your shop sections. Now, your shop sections are basically those categories, the different parts of your shop, the different product categories. And these are searchable. The names of these sections can help you get found, especially by Google and some of those other search engines. Back to my wedding example, say that you make gifts that would be appropriate for different members of a wedding party. Maybe you want to have different sections of your shop describing those specific people that the products are for. So you might have a section for gifts for the bride, gifts for the groom, gifts for bridesmaids, gifts for groomsmen. All of those phrases can help you get found by the people that are looking for those specific types of products. And then they come to that shop section and then they go and look at all the different products that you have to sell. The fifth element of your Etsy shop to optimize is your shop title. Your shop title is another opportunity to weave in some of those long tail keyword phrases and describe the general overall type of products that you sell and make or the overall type of ideal customer that your brand has. And the final place that you can also optimize is your shop description. Similar to your shop title, this is a place where you can optimize kind of the overall vibe, the overall types of products that you sell, the overall customer that you're trying to appeal to. If somebody searches in a way that your whole shop pulls up in the Google search engine results, this is often gonna be pulled into that result snippet. So it's important to include some keyword phrases that make sense to your target customer and help describe your overall shop. To quickly recap, the six parts of your Etsy shop that you should be optimizing for search engines are your product titles, your product descriptions, your tags, your shop sections, your shop title, and your shop announcement. If you're just getting started selling online and all of this SEO stuff feels really overwhelming and confusing, don't worry, I have a class on Skillshare called DIY SEO for e-commerce where I break everything down, make it really simple and easy to understand. We've had a lot of students go through it who have found it really useful, really helpful. I'll leave a link below in the description if you wanna check it out. And hey, if you have other SEO or marketing related questions you want me to cover in a future video, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be putting out new videos each week, so be sure to subscribe and like and share and all of that stuff. You know, you're on YouTube, you know how this works works. I'll see you next time.